Hey everybody, video here for you today. Thought we'd go back to ancient America. And I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but didn't really have any plans and kind of getting on my brother's nerves. He told me to go in my room and make a video. So I think I will. Let's go down to the Kincaid Mounds in southern Illinois. I made a video on this place about three years ago. But all I've learned on ancient America, well, this place was very important. It was contemporary with Cahokia. But this is one of those places that is just kind of lost and lonely and just sitting out there. But here you can see the mounds at the site. This was a pretty impressive ancient city, as I said, around the same time as Cahokia. But there is no park here. No way to really visit the mounds except park on this road out here and overlook them from a distance. And that's kind of sad. Some of the cities in the area, there's a metropolis, really. Brook Park, High Point, Paducah, Farley, Ledbetter. Those are a few of the cities in this general area here. I'm wondering if any of my subs have ever been to this site. It appears to be fairly lonely and quiet. This is about 140 miles east of Cahokia. And obviously, when the Google Earth imagery was taken, there was a lot of flooding going down in this area. And maybe some of you who live in the area can tell me if this is an annual event, all this flooding out here. These mounds were excavated about 1934. And even on this mound today on Google Earth, you can even tell where the excavations took place. You can see how that mound right there was carved into right there. But it makes you wonder if they had flooding back then and how often it happened. But these mounds have obviously withstood many, many floods and they still stand out there today and just gives credit to the people who built them. These aren't just mounds of dirt, clay, gravel, other things. They were painted in some cases. Sometimes they had stairways, but when this is all, the better we can treat them. You wonder why the apathy towards ancient American history. But that's why I make these videos. Just let people know that there's places out there that exist. But this is the look from overhead at this ancient city. Maybe a thousand years old. Maybe started a little earlier than that. But here is a diagram of what this place used to look like. Places where people lived. A big wall all the way around it. As many as nine mounds and some of them pretty darn large and even people who are curious about these ancient America sites is this one place where people would actually stop that's another reason why I make these videos just so people have an idea of what they look like and maybe they would stop at these but would people tour these if this was an open park but we can certainly let our mind wander what this place used to look like and what the people were doing who occupied this site here is another artist rendition of what this place might have looked like. Now I was looking for any news stories on the Kincaid Mounds and I found this one from Heritage Daily. This came out a little earlier this year. The Kincaid Mounds, the Mound Metropolis of Illinois. It says the Kincaid Mounds is an ancient tribal center of the Mississippi culture that built a large settlement comprising of raised mounds in the present day state of Illinois near the banks of the Ohio River. The Mississippian culture was a Native American civilization that emerged around 800 AD in the Midwestern, Eastern, and Southeastern regions of America. The civilization was composed of a series of urban settlements linked together by loose trading networks, with the most notable site being the city of Cahokia. So this place seemed to be linked to Cahokia through trade and other things. It says the area around the Kincaid's Mounds was first occupied during the Archaic period between 8000 to 2000 BC, where the region was probably inhabited by cultures of the early woodland. The founding of the Kincaid's Mound is determined to be about 800 AD, although some sources suggest around 1050 AD. But here are some pics on the ground at the Kincaid Mounds, what they look like on the ground. Not much to be seen, just grass covered mounds certainly looked entirely a lot different in antiquity. It says Kincaid likely served as a trade link between native settlements in the Cumberland, Tennessee River Valleys and the metropolis of Cahokia, in which influences of the Cahokian culture is evident in the Kincaid shell tempered ceramics. Just reading a little more, it seems a few more mounds have been discovered here since I did the video three years ago and they said nine or ten mounds existed. But just reading it says the society revolved around a complex chiefdom structure led by a male chief and his family who exerted civil control over the community and priests who had religious authority, probably some shaman type figures. The major construction phase took place in what is known as the Kincaid Middle Component, and that is called the Classic Mississippian Period. 
in which 19 mound monuments were constructed with 11 being identified as substructure platform mounds in addition to a large plaza situated near the nucleus of the settlement. The entire site was surrounded by a large palisade wall of upright logs or posts with a series of guard houses or bastions at the intervals of about 100 feet. The palisade may have served as a defensive purpose but it has also been suggested that it functioned to mark the boundary of the ceremonial site and the seat of the chieftain's authority. But that is the way it looks from overhead today. Maybe remnants of that wall right there. This is the way artists think it looked a long time ago. Now I will leave a few links below, but here is the visiting area at the mound site today where you can go and overlook these from a distance. There is another look at the mounds, but just finishing this one article, it says the Mississippian culture occupation at the site appears to have ended by 1400 to 1450, possibly due to the exhaustion of local resources such as timber and game, a period which archaeologists call the vacant quarter. There's other possibilities, I guess, maybe disease being introduced into the area is one other possibility, but by about 500 years ago, these people seem to be gone. Now here is one story, and I read a few like this, prehistoric mound, disturbed, possibly looted, but if you don't have a park, you don't have security here, obviously we're going to have some problems like this. Can't we treat our ancient American history just a little bit better? That's all I'm asking. That is a quickie on the Kincaid Mounds here in southern Illinois, center of ancient chiefdom. This seemed to be a very important place about a thousand years ago in ancient America. Probably these people were trading with Cahokia and also places to the east. Ancient America was one big trade network based on the riverways. You have stuff in Florida from the Great Lakes region. You have stuff at mound sites in Indiana and Illinois from Wyoming. I mean, it's really remarkable how the goods were traded all over ancient America a thousand years ago, 2,000 years ago. It's a pretty amazing story, and I'm still looking into it. Thought I would talk about that one today. I don't think I made a video on ancient America in about three weeks. Some of these sites, I realize, are very important after all the videos I've made on this subject. Well, as I said with NEXT in our interview Friday night, some of these places in ancient America, and really ancient America itself, is kind of neglected as far as the importance in ancient history but we have these pyramid mounds all over ancient America some of these sites are just kind of sitting out there lonely just trying to make it not quite so hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day